during my time as Secretary General of ASEAN, I also have to monitor the uh, program offered by Singapore to the other ASEAN country. Not because I'm a Singaporean, I had to monitor this, but as Secretary General of ASEAN, we wanted to get other more developed ASEAN countries to give similar programs to the least developed ASEAN countries. So Singapore's example was always a very convenient uh, model to encourage our friend from Malaysia, Thailand and Brunei to contribute more. So we monitor this and we see the various lessons learned by the Singapore trainers in their training program in the training centres in the four uh, Mekong countries. The more important point is the constructive interaction among people from different countries and culture may also increase intercultural knowledge and skills and this will help to increase the tolerance and understanding which can contribute to our efforts to reduce cultural tensions. This is all very nice words but what it means in real term is that we have to bring people together, yeah, the different uh, devotees or different religions have different perceptions about what is going on but hopefully by having volunteers like many of you are doing, you will be able to bring about better appreciation and understanding of the sensitive backgrounds or specific aspect of our different culture and religion. I want to leave you with some of these thoughts. Successful long-term development is a complex process which depends on many factors and from our Singapore experience we think that two teams are particularly important. The quality of governance in a country will greatly influence its development. And number two, the ability to adapt economic policy that promote growth will contribute significantly to development. Compared to these two factors I just mentioned, foreign aid is much less important in determining whether a country will achieve long-term economic growth and development. Foreign aid is likely to be most helpful when it is given to countries that maintain stable, honest governments and have adopted market-oriented, outward-looking economic policies. As the Asian aid donors become more self-reliant and prefer to use their own experts and resources, there is an urgent need for better understanding of the working culture and style of volunteers from non-traditional donors. Asia needs, priorities and challenges are changing dramatically. A period of adjustment by all giving and receiving country is definitely necessary. I'm confident that this conference will provoke talk and invoke creative ideas. In closing, I would like to restate three points which I hope you will take away from this opening session. Number one, Asia is growing fast and catching up with the developed world. But it is a win-win development if we all seize the opportunities and make the best of them. So I don't like the frequent question media friends ask me. Is the rise of China a threat or an opportunity? My line is that it is a win-win development if we all seize the opportunities and make the best of them. Number two, the development agenda will be well served by the growing number of Asian donors as they want to make a difference and they bring many positive things to those in need. Number three, international volunteering and service is flourishing, flourishing because it has 
been enriched by new participants with their commitment, creativity and what I call customer focus. <laughs>